Welcome to Whole and Healthy Cooking with Chef Val. Hi, I'm Chef Valerie Wilson. I've been teaching healthy, whole foods cooking classes since 1997. I'm the author of five cookbooks and I teach classes on a regular basis. You can find out about all I have to offer on my website, macroval.com. Today, I wanted to teach you about the signature whole grain of wintertime, kasha. Many people might be more familiar with its other name, buckwheat. This is the signature whole grain kasha. This is what it looks like in its whole form. Now, when you grind this up, it becomes buckwheat flour, but this is the signature whole grain kasha. It contains the entire range of B-complex vitamins. It is high in vitamin E, which is a natural antioxidant, and it has 100 times more calcium than other grains. Some wonderful things about kasha, since it's the signature whole grain of wintertime, is that it can help improve your circulation in your body to help keep your fingers and your feet warm. Plus, it also has the longest period of time that it's digesting in your body, again, imparting warmth into your body. So complex carbohydrates, whole grains, get digested very slowly. They release glucose very slowly into your system, which helps stabilize blood sugar. So kasha, being that it's gonna be digested slow, it's gonna help stabilize that blood sugar. So anybody who has blood sugar issues, this is your whole grain. Now, how are you gonna cook the kasha? Well, it's relatively easy. So today I started with one half cup of kasha and I added one and a quarter cup of water. Now, I know if you watch some of my other videos, I always say double the water when you cook whole grains, but kasha needs a little more water. So we've got a half a cup of kasha, one and a quarter cup of water. Put it in a pot, bring it to a boil, and then put a lid on it and put it on a low temperature. I use a flame tamer or a flame diffuser. So this evenly disperses the heat from your stove to the whole grain that's cooking on top of it. It works very well when you cook a lot of whole grains. You put the lid on it, you put it on a low temperature, and it's gonna cook for 15 minutes. That's all. Now this type of kasha is called roasted kasha. So the whole grain has actually been roasted first. Roasted kasha cooks up quicker than if you get kasha that's not roasted. So 15 minutes for the roasted kasha, and it might be a little quicker for the kasha that you can get that's not roasted. And so after it's cooked for 15 minutes, we take the lid off and we take a look at what the kasha looks like. It's cooked. And I always check it by moving some of the kasha aside and making sure there's no water in the bottom of the pot. The whole grain has absorbed all the water. It's done. So the kasha comes together and so it's kind of creamy. It's got that wonderful earthy flavor to it. It is a very similar flavor as buckwheat if you've ever had buckwheat pancakes. And buckwheat pancakes, my all time favorite. How are you going to serve the kasha now? Well, you could serve it just like it is with a side dish of vegetables. You could add vegetables to it cauliflower, sweet potatoes, tastes really good with kasha. You could turn it into a casserole, add some flavoring, some vegetables, and then bake it in the oven. It's even more warming that way, very delicious. I have many recipes featuring kasha, so make sure you check those out in my cookbooks. So that is the signature whole grain of wintertime, kasha. It feeds and nurtures your kidneys, your adrenal glands, and your reproductive organs. So next time you're in the store, pick some kasha up, take it home, and cook a pot of kasha. Remember, your journey to eating healthy begins with one small step. Let's make that small step eating kasha. <laughs>